Hey, dreamer. Sit back and relax. I'll take you to your next dream. Is this one of your weird human customs again? <laughs> oh, it is? What is this called? A pillow fight? Oh. So, you declare warfare against other humans in a non-lethal pillow fight. <laughs> well, that's childish. <laughs> no. Us dragons, we use real fists and claws to fight. You don't use these pillows of foot. <clears throat> As I said, we don't use non-lethal weapons to f- To f- Come here, go. Yield! Yield! <laughs> This is how you do it, right? You just... Keep smashing this pillow until... All the feather comes out, right? <laughs> oh... Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Don't take it back. Okay, this is really fun. <laughs> ah! Okay, you got me, you got me. No! <sighs> yes, yes. I yield. You win. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look at all this mess, baby. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Didn't you just buy these pillows? Hmm. Now all the feathers are everywhere. <laughs> Well, someone's energetic. Mm-hmm. You've been in a really, really good mood ever since I opened the pathway to the village. Yeah. I knew it was a good idea. Well, I did some scouting, and the nearby village is quite friendly with... Our kind. One of the more non-hostile villages, I would say. So I figured, why not make a pathway from the cave to the village? Besides, I think you need to mingle more with your kind. Yeah. You've been cooped up in the cave for a long time. 
I know you chose this life, but uh, I worry about you sometimes. I thought fresh air and socializing would do you good. And it seems like it did. Much better than just lying around in the bed, all bored, like you usually do. <laughs> hmm. Did you have fun at the village? Oh, <laughs> really? What did you see? Oh, the market, yeah. One of the best places to go, in my opinion. It's where all the fun comes and happens. Yeah, I saw it from the sky. I believe every Saturdays they hold a festival. Yeah, to praise their goddess. I believe it was the goddess of fertility. Mm hmm. It's a farm that relies heavily on agriculture, so they praise the god of fertility to bring them good harvest every year. Yeah, and it's about to be harvesting season soon. Mm-hmm. The temperature's perfect for their crops to grow fully and well matured. Oh, I heard that this village specializes in all kinds of fruits and vegetables. There's this red one called apple. Have you tried it? Yeah, apples are these really, really big, red, juicy, and sweet fruits. Yeah, I don't think there's much apples from where you came from, right? Mm -hmm. You had dates more. You came from the desert, right? Well, these are more tropical fruits. Much sweeter. Actually, dates can be quite sweet too. But I suppose it's juice here. <laughs> oh. You want it? Yeah. Tell you what, why don't we both go to the village during harvesting season? Mm -hmm. Which is, I believe, in a few weeks. Um, yeah, I would have to have a proper disguise, though. Uh, I don't know. As friendly as they are. They're all still only human. <sighs> my scales and my claws, my teeth, especially my horns, can be quite intimidating. Yes, I, I just can't stand the stairs sometimes. <laughs> yes. Ah, uh, not to worry. A friend of mine specializes in human disguises, so, you know what? I'll contact him immediately, have him brew up some human disguises for me, and then we can go there together. In the meantime, I can still enjoy the village through you. So, you've seen the market. Did you meet anyone there? Made any friends? Ooh. Oh, nice. An old lady that sold you flowers. That's cute. <laughs> mm, a few children playing by the park. Marcus. Wait. That's a guy's name. No, no, no. There's no problem. I'm just quite surprised. 
You usually avoid guys. Oh, was he nice? Oh. He gave you some free samples. That's awfully nice of him. Hmm. Okay. No, no. Free samples are fine. It's a good marketing technique. Usually with free samples, they invite more customers to eat more. It's quite normal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, speaking of free samples, most of the stuff in the market must have been quite expensive. Was my allowance enough? Yeah, the single gold piece that I gave you. Oh, it was too much. Oh, ah, uh, really? I thought for sure one gold was not enough. Yeah, that's barely anything in the capital. Wait, what? Just a few copper pieces. Are you sure? What? <laughs> That's so cheap. Ah, uh, yeah, my intel said that humans typically spend around one gold a day. It's funny to see that every city spends money differently. Well, it is a small village after all. Yeah, but I can't believe how different it is. A gold piece is essentially a hundred silver coins. And one silver coin is a hundred copper pieces. That makes it ten thousand copper pieces. Okay. I would have to adjust your allowance. Yeah. I can't have you carrying that much money. Mm-hmm. There might be people trying to steal it from you. Or worse. <laughs> Baby. I admire how innocent you are sometimes. But... Not every human out there has the best intentions. So, remember what I said. The ring I gave you. Whenever you're in trouble, make sure you rub that stone on there and call me. I'll be there whenever and wherever you want. Okay? Promise me that you keep this ring close to you at all times. Good. You're my greatest treasure. And I don't want anything bad to happen to you. I can't afford to lose you. The pain to my heart will be too much to handle. So please, Wherever you may be, take care of yourself, okay? Because wherever you go, you're carrying my heart with you. That's right. You're my heart. My love. It's almost time for supper. What would you like? Mmm, veal. 
excellent choice. I'll prepare for you. Far over the moon.